So one thing I really pride myself of is um, one of um, one of the good skills I think I have is being very um, culturally knowledgeable in a lot of ways. Um, I've been to several countries and I am not uh, born and raised here in the U.S. So I do have that um, cultural knowledge of obviously um, Asian countries because I grew up in Asia. I grew up in the Philippines and also I been stationed to Korea, which is I also have a different culture and I've been to um, Puerto Rico for a humanitarian mission. And one thing that I've known for uh, known for a while now, when um, I came to the United States, the culture is so different. I had a major culture shock when I first moved in to Hawaii because I didn't realize what the culture is like. And I was um, 19 when I moved into the States and I didn't know anything. It was my first time in a different country. And um, one experience that I wanted to talk about um, in terms of uh, cross-cultural knowledge is when um, when I was in uh, one of my duty stations, I was stationed in Texas at one time um, because of the power distance that I was raised on. In the Philippines, we don't really we have that um, huge power distance that if somebody is higher ranking than you, you don't just come up to them and talk to them. Um, here in the States, apparently that's not really a big deal. So when uh, one time uh, one of my coworkers was telling me to, hey, go and talk to this person. And this person was was actually a general. And I was like, no, I'm just a regular worker. Like, I don't talk to people like that. And I realize that that's not how it works here in the States because like, it doesn't matter what your rank is. There's not much of a power distance here. So that's one thing that I've noticed and realized and learned from, you know, being, being uh, exposed to different cultures and also in terms of formalities and time. Um, in the Philippines, we have this thing called Filipino time and Filipino time means um, usually uh, you're late. <laughs> so uh, Filipino time is usually like we set a time of like, all right, we're going to meet up or we're going to start a party at five o'clock in the afternoon. And technically five o'clock in the afternoon is when people actually start showing up. And then the party doesn't really start until like six or seven o'clock like two hours later. So that's what we call Filipino time. And apparently here in the States, that's not how it works. So um, when you say a party is going to start at a certain time, that's when the party is going to start. So it, th those things uh, in terms of different cultures is something that I know now that I've been in the States long enough to understand the difference in the cultures. Um, and um, with, in terms of religion too, um, the Philippines is a very religious country. And that's something that I've, you know, realized that is like very different here because here in the States, uh, there is such a huge freedom for um, religion. And in the Philippines, there is freedom of religion. However, because it is 95% um, of the population is Catholic, um, people get looked at differently when they are worshiping or, you know, they have a different religion. So here it's not something that you look at people weirdly about because religion is a freedom and people get to choose whatever religion they want to um, they want to practice. So that's one thing that I know, too, in terms of um, cross-cultural communication is having that knowledge of understanding different cultures and being able to accommodate those different cultures, which is important in terms of public relations, because you have to be able to, as a public relations professional, you have to be able to understand those differences in culture and how you can touch on um, and approach those different cultures too. And, you know, the, uh, your audience will have different cultures and not knowing those different cultures or not understanding those different cultures will be a struggle if you're a public relations professional who tries to reach for different cultures to have them support you or something like that. So that's one thing that I am kind of like, I, I'm very proud of myself 
because I am continuously learning different cultures and I love to understand more and different and other different cultures so I could be more knowledgeable in terms of cross-cultural communication.